well, look, just like you have personal hygiene, um, you brush your teeth, you cut your hair, right? You take a shower. Um, cyber hygiene is the same, but for cybersecurity. It's basically how good of a job do you do to take care of uh, the basics for your company's corporate IT infrastructure. To give you an example, um, most companies don't even know what their attack surface is. There was a conversation with a government official in the United States, uh, Rob Joyce, and he said that the reason the hackers win, the reason that the hackers succeed, is because they know your attack surface better than you do. A lot of the time, companies don't have that visibility. They spun up an instance for a QA environment, like a, they spun up a QA server, and then they forgot about it. They never deprovisioned it. It's out there. And the hackers are able to discover it, break into it because it's not patched, it's not kept up to date, and then they go break into the rest of the company. So the cyber hygiene is really taking good care of the basics. Do you know your attack surface? Are you keeping your externally observable software up to date? Are you using proper configuration for your web servers, for your encryption and for your SSL certificates? Are you doing the basics? Because a lot of the time, hackers are looking for the easiest target. And so when they notice things that are easily observable, they're going to target you and they're going to break in. And a signal could be something very simple. You look at a website of a company and you see at the bottom of a website for a coffee shop, it says copyright 2010. Well, it's 2022. So I just discovered that they're not keeping their website up to date. How good is their cybersecurity hygiene? If I were a hacker, I would go after them and I would be fairly certain that they're probably not very sophisticated about protecting the systems. You've got to go focus on the basics. That's what cyber hygiene is.